Hey everybody, welcome back to the Big Board. Gonna drop some acronym soup on you. We're playing Barbarossa Army Group Center, AGC. The EFS system, the Eastern Front system, or series, as the case may be. And it's the top of the seventh turn. You can see the number seven there. That's how we're tracking things for the moment. And we've got an interesting situation at the top of the turn. We've just rolled for weather. It's a dry storm. Basically, that means uh, no planes, but uh, no nothing on the ground to uh, nothing to, to stop the troops moving around on the ground, as the case may be. Um, it's been at least ten days since twelve days since I've sat down and played. And the first thing we've got to do is do supply. And uh, <laughs> I was like, oh man, you know, I need to get back on it. We've got to get stuck into this. Got to do that supply phase. Shouldn't take long. Well, well, well. So I'd forgotten that when I left town last time, that the Soviets pulled a gamey and cheesy maneuver. Right there, that red block. This little unit, which was going to be eradicated, messed with, <coughs> attacked, etc., decided to do the noble thing and plonk its little hiney right down across the rail line there. So shame on the German player for not guarding their flanks and having appropriate zones of control protecting their primary source of supply. And you may say, well, Kevin, you've been saying for the last what year since you've been playing these EFS titles? Supply? Yeah, I can live without it. I can I can manage, I can get by. Well, I can only do that if I can fly airplanes. And I can't fly airplanes. So we are in dire straits turn seven because that means that all the units that I am about to show you are indeed all around Minsk, have supply down to that cocked unit there, that rocket unit right here. <clears throat> they can trace supply going south. So all these guys are in emergency supply. Now what does that mean? Not a big deal, really. End of the day, we can, uh, we can manage uh, because emergency, emergency supply just means that we, um, we, we are not gonna suffer any penalties is my point. But next turn, if we don't remove this thing, this thing here by next turn, then we all flip to out of supply mode and then we're in trouble. <clears throat> and this is going to, all this is gonna really do is uh, it'll add, uh, I don't think it's gonna give us any penalty actually for, for combat, so it's a, it's a wash, but I'm, uh, I, the only way I can use attack supplies if I you know, bring a, track, a truck up and all that sort of fun stuff. So all the usual things. Anyway. Huge, no, like there's five different Panzer divisions floating around here and a couple of motorized. So we're gonna use this turn to consolidate, to finish isolating some units here. <clears throat> Maybe make some minor attacks here. These guys are probably gonna be out of supply as well. Uh, and uh, see if we can't move this huge pile of stuff that way, generally speaking. Uh, the rest of the the rest of the board is also in catch up mode. I've got units over to the left here. Got some guys trying to weasel their way out. That's the the last elements of the armored fighting forces of the of the Soviets. Uh, they're stuck up against the Shara River and uh, this town here. I can't read the last letter on it, but it's most this is Skadel here. There's Leader. Uh, they're they're in a world of hurt. They're going to have to meander through the woods here and, and try and you know escape to somewhere uh, and probably cause a little bit of mayhem. So the Germans are going to have to work out what they want to do if they want to try and pocket these guys. They're they're kind of tough, so we've got to be careful. But there is an HQ in here somewhere. Actually, maybe I lost that HQ. I think I did. Nope, he's here. There he is. There, not up HQ. So complicated little situation but lots of units here that we can use to try and at least put a box a cordon around these and then further way back in the backfield i've only got three turns left to knock these guys out here and i start losing some vps so this we're going to have to start making some attacks here 
had pretty meager rides. So, oh, look, you know, where, where is this guy supposed to be? Looks like he got bumped. I'm gonna imagine he was on the road. Uh, we'll just put him here, I guess. That's a pity. And these guys were all moved last turn. Straighten them up. And, you know, so we've got to knock out one, two units there. These guys are hiding in the marsh just to be difficult. And then with six defense, little turkeys. Uh, we're gonna wait one more turn before we try and attack them. And then we'll see what happens from there. So I thought I'd check in with you, let you know what's going on. And the, the Germans will do their best to try and fix. Now that was actually kind of uh, started out German and became Russian or something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I gotta, this is gonna take probably the German opening move for turn seven is probably gonna be a good solid hours work here. Just uh, really thinking through how to position units well, uh, assuming that we can knock this out up here this turn uh, and so that they're in position to make a push on Minsk just as quickly as they can. We've got to clear the Minsk uh, hex. It's critical, but it's not critical until I get the, the rail line built down to here. So we've got some time. I, I need to start uh, moving past Minsk and uh, break up some of these defenses that are being built and provided by the, uh, by the, by the uh, reinforcement chart. Uh, I'm thinking probably heading up this road. It's kind of skinny right now and this road is also relatively empty. Okay, gonna let you go. Talk to you soon, ciao.